currently outside of David Tiemann's and Paul Matzinger's house. You might recognize him, or perhaps the infamous goats that have been known to follow them around campus from time to time. Stay tuned for the full story. I'm David Tiemann. I'm in fourth year mechanical engineering. Uh, and all of my housemates are in engineering. Uh, and we've got goats. So we, uh, we got goats because we had the opportunity to, uh, to get some male goats. They're, they're not very valuable on dairy farm because they don't produce milk. Um, and they make great pets. We got the goats uh, at the end of October, roughly. The, the quirks uh, of having a goat, it's not like a dog. So a dog is a, is a, is a pack animal, whereas a goat is a herd animal. Uh, so goats will follow you around. You don't actually have to keep them on a leash. Uh, they'll just kind of come with you. Uh, now, they will follow I anyone who's friendly to them. <laughs> so sometimes they'll follow somebody else down the street. They like to jump around and stuff. So uh, the, their, their playfulness, as opposed to uh, uh, you know barking, nibbling, chasing a ball, that kind of stuff, is just simply doing kind of whatever you're doing. So if I were to run over to the corner, they would run over to the corner. That kind of thing. Sometimes, obviously, they like to get out of their little pen here, and we go for walks. Uh, and so that's where many people have seen them. Uh, they, they really like snow, actually, which is part of the reason that they were out on the day that had such a big snowstorm. They actually eat uh, the waste cafeteria food. So if you're in residence eating cafeteria food right now, the, the waste scraps from peeling carrots, things like that, uh, actually go to feeding our goats. They do eat quite a bit of food. <laughs> um, being free food, it's great. Uh, it doesn't cost us very much, actually, at all to, to feed them. Uh, we also keep some hay bales uh, so that we can feed them some hay. Their food is kept in this half, which they know very well. Um, he's trying to nibble at the bag. Uh, but they live down in this piece, which is insulated, and there's some insulation up here, which actually seals with the edge. Uh, and then down here, there's a flap, which is made from a, um, a rug, actually. It's like a, a heavy rubber like welcome mat kind of thing. Um, and that keeps it closed during the winter, or any time. Just makes it a little bit warmer inside uh, for the two of them. Hi guys, my name is Paul. I'm housemates with David. I'm a fourth year engineering student. Um, and yeah, we're both the uh, proud parents of uh, Bob and Doug. Um, pretty interesting having goats. They're, both of these guys are really gentle. Um, they're really easy to take care of. Uh, we've had a lot of fun with them. And people getting to know them. And we've met a lot of people on campus that are just interested. Just show up in our backyard, want to pet them, want to feed them. So yeah, it's been, it's been a lot of fun and definitely pretty unique. I've never raised farm animals in my life before. so. It's been fun. We've had a couple uh, escapes, so one of them will jump out of the pen, but he won't leave his brother, and he freaks out because one of them's in the pen and one of them is not. You just hear this huge commotion in the backyard because, you know, they want to be together. But the funniest thing is that they really quickly forget what's going on, so they'll start chewing on something. And then they freak out again, and this kind of continues until you let them both back in the pen. Definitely the funniest moment with these guys is when uh, we had some film students that wanted to put them in uh, a movie they were doing for competition. And I guess they had no idea of just how dirty these goats were. So uh, at one point, they are in the back seat of the car, and I think they just ruined this chick's car. Like, just, I, I, I can only describe it as, they basically went to the bathroom in every single seat. There's no way she'll ever get the smell out of her vehicle. It was awesome, and uh, it was just too funny.